Hey, we're talking about direct boxes today. This is a really simple passive Groove Tubes PDI direct box. The primary goal of a direct box is to take an unbalanced signal and convert it to a balanced low impedance signal that we can use to feed a mixing board and PA system. So this particular model is an older one with the ground lift switch on the side. They later moved that ground lift switch down to the XLR end and that's where it lives today on the live wire pdi which is the current version of this after groove tube stopped making it now this is a passive direct box and typically we use passive direct boxes for things with hotter outputs things like keyboard synths things of that nature that have a higher output we'd use an active direct box uh, for something like a classical guitar where you don't want the direct box loading down the pickup. An active direct box comes with a buffer circuit in there to make sure that you don't load down the source and change the tone of that pickup. So we're going to pop open the groove tube box here and take a look at a basic direct box uh, from the inside. At the bottom here you got a pair of quarter inch inputs. Those are wired in parallel. You can see the white and black wires tying across. So if you plug your guitar in, you can come out the other side of the through or the other side of the parallel output there to your amplifier. This is the custom wound transformer. This one's all sealed up and glued in place. Very simple, feels pretty lightweight. Most of the weight in this unit is in the box, uh, not the transformer. Uh, there's the XLR output and then the ground lift switch. And you can see me drawing in the uh, wiring diagram here for how that works. And basically the ground's tied all the way across. And then you can see it popping up to the switch there so you can lift the switch. Should you be getting noise, uh, on your on your signal here uh, you always want to try to lift the ground on the audio side not on the electrical side of things those cheater plugs the two prong cheater plugs are not a solution for solving audio problems always lift in a situation like this where you can lift the audio ground uh, so that's pretty much it that's a simple look at a passive direct box uh, what we use them for and why they're important. Very essential thing to have. This is a good cheap uh, option to have in your kit. I've got a couple of them. I mostly use radial DIs, but these come in really handy for things like uh, laptops, keyboards, synths, and um, hot output stuff. So subscribe, like, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, we can talk in more de detail about uh, direct boxes. Have a great day.